the channel. Today, guys, we're doing another update on my Turbo Time USA 66 millimeter Predator Velocity Port Turbo that they sell. So far, guys, I'm loving it. Let's get into the details. But first, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's see those comments down below. What do you guys think of the turbo so far and what turbos are you running on your 6.0 power stroke? So I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of an update on the turbo. I've driven it longer now. I have a better impression of what it's doing. And really, we're just testing it on a very conservative injector. I'm running stock nozzles on 175 horn diesel injectors. So by no means is this an absolutely insane injector. It's a nice injector, but we're really limiting our fuel with the nozzle being stock size instead of like a 30 over. A 30 over on 175 and 190s is a great nozzle size. We'll get into that more when I upgrade injectors later this year. I'm not running any Fickham tuning, just regular ECM tuning. Currently running Truck Source Diesel's SPD tune. Loving it so far. Even though the transmission is on its way out, the truck still drives really nice. Now I haven't, I've done very few full throttle pulls. I don't know if I've done any actual full throttle pulls recently once I realized my transmission was not enjoying things. Normal everyday driving, transmission does fine and the turbo spools great. It does not, it's not laggy at all. Very minimal lag with this setup. It sounds killer. Now guys, as far as this turbo goes, this will be my last update until I get a boost gauge. I do have one ordered. And at that point, then we'll really start going over what, what the data shows because what happens is a lot of tuners change how the computer reads your boost, just like they spoof the high pressure oil pump to read differently. So it's hard to say exactly how much boost this is making. I know that this will max out what is on here. The factory gauge is only accurate to about 30. It's a two bar system. I forget exactly what one bar is, but it's like 14 some, like 14.8 or something like that. Uh, so it's not 100% accurate after 30. But also remember, when you go to a larger compressor wheel, you're not going to necessarily, you don't need to see the same amount of boost to see the same amount of airflow. What I mean by that is like a Power Max, for instance. A Power Max is moving as much air at 20 PSI of boost as a stock six liter turbo does at 28 PSI. Now we've been driving for a little bit here. You guys are probably noticing that where's the giant puffs of smoke from all the lag that this turbo should make. And that is, it's just not there. Now I am driving conservatively, don't get me wrong. I'm in traffic here. There's people in front of me and behind me. But truthfully, this turbo spools very quickly and I don't really have to worry about that. Now, of course, anytime you're talking full race tunes, even if you have stock injectors and a stock turbo, you can make these trucks smoke. There's no way around it, you can. You know, if I don't roll into the throttle, if I just, well, here, I'll make it smoke for you guys. However, I'm pretty certain when I do that, the transmission slips. But now if I just roll into it, the truck accelerates, I build boost quickly, and that's went into overdrive there, so I couldn't really actually get on it. Now let's talk about the turbo. Let's go over a little bit of specs again. So the compressor wheel is a 66 by 92. Uh, the Power Max, to put this in comparison, is a 63.5 by 88. So our inducer and exducer are both larger than the Power Max. On to the turbine side of things, we're talking we have an 03 turbine side, which is the same as a Power Max. A lot of people don't realize that. The Power Max turbine and the 03 six liter power stroke stock turbo is the exact same size. It's the exact same turbine wheel, same part number and everything. So when you take that into consideration, we're talking, we have a lot of flow. And for as much flow as you get there, this doesn't really lag at all. It's really nice how well this turbo drives, to be honest. Now, top end performance, the times I have got given it a full throttle pull, it cleans up these injectors great. It cleans them up more than the Power Max. The Power Max definitely, what I've come to decide about the Power Max, I love this turbo. Those of you guys that have watched the channel know I'm a fan of the Power Max and think the hate that people give it completely undeserved. Power Max is a good turbo. I will stand by that. 
it, for a lot of people, it's an excellent turbo choice to drop in your truck, especially for the dollar. Turbo Time USA sells them for $11.65, I believe. Brand new, no core charge. All right, we got some road to goof around on now. This turbo pulls so freaking hard. I got to, what's great is like that, as you know, I got up and got moving pretty quick. That was not even half throttle. That was about a quarter throttle. This turbo is so responsive and it spools so fast that I'm absolutely loving it. This turbo cleans up these injectors perfectly. And again, like I said, we're not talking like this turbo needs to make a ton of boost to clean these injectors up. A lot of people look at the boost number as like the deciding factor. And really, if you don't have the fuel to warrant the extra boost, then why use it? Because you're just getting to say you have a larger boost number. What you're not looking at is the fact that every time you compress the air, it heats up. Before we get into any more talk about the turbo, we're gonna get on the highway, go over exhaust temps and talk about what boost numbers I do have. Typically when they're lower, they fool the computer less. But I wanna take a second to talk about reliability and so far this turbo has performed flawlessly. Okay, now we're gonna get on the highway here. We're gonna do a little cruising around. So we're gonna get up to speed. We're gonna go over some highway temps here. Basically what the what my exhaust temps are once we get settled in here. We're cruising around on the highway, getting up to highway speeds under normal throttle. So basically a quarter throttle. It's up to speed very quickly, low smoke output. I, I really wanna place emphasis for a daily driver on the low smoke output. Obviously, when you're talking about building strictly a race truck or a sled cooler, you're gonna have to deal with some level of smoke. But when you're talking about daily driving characteristics that's still a fun turbo, low smoke output and fast spool up are definitely things you're looking for. And this turbo spools up really, really fast. And it's just a great daily driving turbo. Now, it also has the ability to get pretty wild and that is partially why my transmission is no longer happy. Don't worry guys, we are getting the transmission fixed in the very near future, so stay tuned for that. But more so on this turbo, I'm cruising, speed limit 65, my exhaust temps are 690, I'm a little below 2000 RPMs, I guess technically I'm going probably about 68 due to the difference in tire size and everything. And I'm seeing between seven and about nine pounds of boost just cruising here at about 65, 67, something like that. Now I know even though I said the boost number isn't accurate, I know people are gonna wanna see it. And every tune I've run, if you haven't run several different uh, custom tunes from different people, then you don't know this, each person tunes a little differently. So for instance, Innovative Diesel, I can see upwards of 33 to 34 PSI on my boost gauge that's read off the computer. The truck does pull like a freight train. Other tuners I've run, I typically will see for some companies, I see low to mid 30s for boost. And currently while running truck source diesel, I'm seeing 29 pounds of boost. So there is a difference. Every tuner is a little bit different. And as far as one of those companies that lets me see low 30s will actually make, I can tell you right now, will make less power than this tune. And meanwhile, another tune I can see almost 34, yet it feels very similar to how this truck currently performs. So just because you're seeing a higher boost number doesn't mean you're getting more power. And more importantly, a lot of times they spoof the boost number as well. So it's hard to say 100% that I'm seeing that. So I'm gonna fix that. We're gonna get a gauge on here and be able to tell exactly what my boost numbers are. in overdrive I still feel like the truck pulls very well you know it doesn't downshift right away but it doesn't 
blow out a bunch of smoke trying to spool up it does very nice i can't explain it i just i'm trying to get you guys to see the daily driving characteristics of this turbo are very very favorable i love them they're you know i've never had a turbo and i haven't tried a ton of different turbos i've tried a few and none of them had the daily driving characteristics and top end performance that this turbo does all right we're getting on here we're going to do just a little bit of a pull nothing too crazy and again the truck just pulls so good it's nothing you know and that's i'm under such light throttle for the truck to pull the way it does exhaust temps are great here we're running about 2,000 RPM and they're dropping from 800. What I've really noticed is I don't get that same under the turbo feeling that I did with my Power Max sometimes, but it was like really lugged down. It doesn't give me that same feeling. And the turbo just gives a very nice whistle. Exhaust temps are great all the time. Now obviously a full throttle pull, which I can't do right now because my transmission is not liking it. Okay guys, we are gonna get some exhaust clips for everybody in here. We're gonna do a little driving around, let you guys hear what this sounds like coming out of the exhaust pipe. I wanted to do some under hood shots and I wasn't able to. So hopefully I can get that remedied in a future upload when I have all the boost numbers and such for you guys. Maybe then I can include some under hood shots of what it sounds like. I need to get with my buddy Steve from Hammerdown Motorsports first to see how he did it on his car. Hopefully he can help me out to be able to do that on my truck.
alert. Again, go give my sponsor, Turbo Time USA, a look. Link down in the description. If you buy one of their custom turbos, so their modified PowerMax turbos, use coupon code 6 Bros. I will put it right up here. And it'll also be a link down in the description. Click on that link to them. Use that coupon code. It'll get you a free merch item in your size. You just want to put it in the cart and then they'll give it to you for free. Also, if you guys are looking for just a turbo to get by for the moment, you're not ready to put a custom turbo on, or you just are in need of a turbo, you found this video, go check out their website. They have power maxes, they, they have stock turbos, they have reman stock turbos. So go check these guys out. They are gonna take care of you. They have excellent build quality. Very impressed with this turbo to date. And they have just been great to work with, guys. So go check them out. They have it all there between crazy turbos and just stock replacements. They'll have it on their website. Link down in the description below. Use that coupon code if you are getting one of their custom-made turbos. For the subscribers that have already purchased turbos from them, comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking of your turbos so far, if you got them installed, if you didn't. Let's see those comments down there, guys. Anyway, thank you again for all the support. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy our content. And also, again, drop those comments down below, guys. What do you think of the TurboTime USA Turbos? And I'll see you in the next upload.